is up everybody, this is Random Sparseman back in Farming Simulator 15. We were left off, I was uh, pretty much doing what I'm doing now. Um, I'm selling some manure, and this is the last load I have, so I thought I'd start us off there. Um, so yeah, this is the last bit from our dairy farm. As you can see there, we are at zero. I did decide to sell it off, um, because we'll probably be getting a lot more by the time I need to actually use it to spread as fertilizer. So we got quite a bit of income from it. As you can see here we're up to a hundred nearly fifty thousand um, dollars and where I started I was around oh, I guess I was around the forty thousand dollar range maybe sixty I don't remember but I did get kind of low um, so definitely selling our manure helped quite a bit in that area so luckily, we do have some more money now. Um, I can either buy some equipment. I know there was some I was wanting to buy, or, or, or I could buy some more fields. So I need to think about that here. But what we have next on our agenda is some grass work. Our grass is fully grown. Um, we are currently ahead of our alfalfa in that aspect. Yeah, the alfalfa still has one more growth stage left, so we will look at our map here. Yep, that's still only yellow. So, yeah, that's what that's about. Um, so we are going to break out our mower. Um, I am going to get a second mower as well. I think that's what other things it's going to do. So we'll run two mowers. I don't know what would be better to do, run two mowers at the same time, or run a mower and then run the tether and rake right after that. Um, shoot. I don't know. I think I actually want to put off getting a new mower, unless of course I got a new uh, tractor with it. Yeah, I would... Where am I going? I am going the wrong way. What? What am I doing, for crying out loud? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm going to reset these tractors. I'm not going to drive all the way back. That's just going to be a waste of time. Waste of the episode. We are all the way down here. Jeez, Jake. You are just something else, aren't you? Okay. That was dumb. <laughs> I even did that on the last load I did. Um, I did record it, however, there was no commentary. I didn't record any commentary with it, so I don't know if we'll be posting that or not. But by the time this video goes out, we will know for sure because that came before this. Um, anyways, I'm going to look at some different equipment. And I may end up getting a new mower with it. Depends on how much we spend on the tractor, of course. Hopefully not too much. I did look at some smaller, uh, older tractors, but nothing really s that uh, suited my interest or looked good for what I was wanting to do. There was an old Ford, uh, like that had 30 horsepower, um, so that wouldn't have done much for us. But I was considering getting it. Um, however, the textures on it didn't look too great, and I doubt it had any dirt from what I saw. I do prefer to have my tractors be washable, so, um, yeah, that's where I'm sitting out there, so I'm going to park this guy here, this is going to be my main machine shed now, just for drivable equipment, and we're going to go in and look at the stuff we can purchase. So for mowers, it'll be this Pottinger Novacat 302ED, which is $8,300, so that won't set us back too far, luckily. But for tractors, um, that has 90 horsepower. I'm probably not going to get this, but how much does this require? 70. And we 
grow up exponentially there. And for whatever reason, this one, this one's cheaper but has more power. And I would like to stick domestic within the states. Um, that's oh, this only has five more horsepower than what we need, and it's even more expensive. What about this stair, stire? I think that's how you pronounce it, stire. Fourteen hundred five thousand dollars. Holy crap! Yeah, it just goes up even more from there. We yeah, already have our one sixty. Yeah, I'm gonna look over at our mods again. Come on. Yeah, I'm not getting another Magnum. Jeez, that's cheap for the horsepower it has. 51 for this guy. That might be a good deal, considering we get 193 out of him. And yeah, he's very, yeah, not as good as the Ford there. And then we do have this. So 193, 451, or 145 for 34. Um. It's going to be between the Ford and the IH 1455 here. Um, these look like they have row crops on them already. Mind you, this is more German international, of course. Um, and if I did get the Ford, I would have to. I am going to change them to row crop tires. Um, but this is cheaper, and we still have more power than we need. Um, <laughs> this is in German. Some stuff is in German down here. Some of it got translated to English. Oh wait, no, that's just the original description. They added that in German there. But I'm gonna get it anyways. Actually, on our farm we have an English tractor. We do have a little David Brown on our home farm. So that put us back to 98 there. So... Um, okay, I need to put that away at some point. I don't think this has dirt textures, I don't know. I prefer it did, and I'm not a big fan of the license plates on it, but uh, we'll put up with it. We also have uh, interactive control, or window, interactive windows, looks like. And this thing just sits low. We do also have our front attachers. Is there some way to put those down? I don't know. Or maybe it, you just it'll adjust on its own. I'm gonna try hooking that up to the front of this. See if it'll go out. It has a nice turbo sound to it. Okay, yeah, it, it automatically goes down, so that's good. Yeah, this has a nice engine sound. I like it. front weight up there. Oops. Not that we necessarily need it, but uh, just in case we have that support. Alright, that should be more than enough, really. So this guy I'm going to have doing our smaller fields. We get our new Holland out. And we can do our bigger fields with this guy. And I'm in reverse, that's not good. Typically you want to be in forward and drive when you're going forward. That is the recommended means for doing that. And where did I... Okay, I remember where my mower is at. It's in my usual place for that. So, that is what we're going to be doing now. Um, I'm going to get our Puma on the ready, and we shall pounce once we get to that stage with the tedding. 
So we have our puma in its natural habitat. Just lounging about right now with a conveyor attached to it. Uh, that is my um, animal planet voice. Oh, I thought it was pretty good considering we're talking about the puma. Um, <laughs> I'll try to keep that to a minimum. Just the dumb little thing I do. I'm sure lots of people do that. You've got your random sparks in its natural habitat. Okay, I'm done, I swear. Um, so, where am I gonna set this guy up at? I'm gonna look at our fields here. Um, where's my sheet for grass? So, I'm gonna start this guy down south and we'll start our 14, what was it, 1455? I don't remember the model number. What is our model number here? 14, 14 something I think, something 55, I don't know. It, it okay, it was a 1455, so we'll head, we'll uh, set him up north once we get this guy situated. And then yeah, once they're both ready, we shall set up the Puma. Hopefully using that new mower works out well. Uh, I am going to load this up here in field, mo field mode already. Field work mode. It's getting a little light here, you can, you can probably tell. I'm trying to keep it down as well as uh, the fact that I don't know what I'm saying half the time. So I want 23 here. 23 mowing. 9 meters. Should do well there. So, yep, that should do it. Oh my, I've been listening to a lot of indie covers of songs, and man, I've been impressed with some of them. There, I heard a cover of "I'm Gonna Be uh, 500 Miles," and it was just a chill indie cover. Like it was, it was light. Like it's not like the original at all. Um, definitely gives a different view of the song like the more deep and personal side of it, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then one of my favorite bands did a cover of uh, uh, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. I thought I thought it was kind of funny. It's some dudes singing it, um, so that's different. But it is actually really good. Um, I don't remember who did uh, the Young Gonna Be cover, but uh, the band that did the uh, cover for Girls Just Wanna Have Fun is kind of an inappropriate name, so I'm just going to do it by their abbreviation. Uh, I can find them. STR FKR. Um, you might be able to figure out what that stands for. Um, definitely not something I want to be saying at all. Preferably. Especially not on my YouTube page here, my channel. That's for sure. Try to keep it clean, for sure. Um, so we're going to set this 10 miles an hour, should be good. I'm going to go to 9 actually. Let's see, I need to set our 14 into a group here. I'm just going to shorten this name up and call him the 14. <laughs> Alright. So I really hope this guy ends up having dirt textures. Um, it would kind of suck if it didn't, but then again, it's not a huge deal. It does. I prefer to find those that do have dirt. Ooh, that's cool. That shaft there, the drive shaft is is even animated. I'm gonna start us off in this little field here. See how he gets along. Guess I didn't need my flashers or hazards or anything. So I want nook by nook field outline here. And for creating course field work, currently loaded course uh, should be. Three meters, I believe. I don't know why I didn't just load that up. Three meters, yep, that is correct. I'm gonna go down to 2.5. Um, then offset. I don't want lane offset, I don't want tool offset. Um, 2.5 should be about right. 2.6, 2.5. 
Either way, my adjustment should compensate for it. And we're going to be starting. Yeah, I don't need that long yet. Looks like we are in... Where's our north at? Okay, we're going to be starting in the southeast. Uh, heading west. We can do four headlands. That should be alright. For this little guy here. See how he gets along. Alrighty. Whoa, to here. Oh, right, you have to offset yourself. That's correct. Forgot about that. Hopefully, this goes well. Looks like he's doing what he needs to. Yep, that looks alright. Check on him. Still on our first headland. And then this guy, we're gonna get him put away. Or at least the conveyor put away first. Okay, and there are some people out and about on my floor here. Kind of odd. It is midnight, but I guess they do usually stay up pretty late doing God knows what. I'm typically stuck in my room. I right, stick myself in my room. Should be a more accurate way of saying that. I I stick in my room around uh starting around eleven. It's usually when I call it quits. Once this gets so far, I can just hit the button and it'll go by its own. But for right now, I do have to control it, which is all right. Yep, there we go. I'm not pressing anything right now, so that's good. So we'll get this guy put away. I think I am going to keep him in here, since we now have this space available. I don't know what else I could use it for. Alright, let's do this. So once our 1455 is done, let me take a look here see what our windrow requirement is. Okay, I can run him on our wind rower, or our rake, um, so that sounds like a good idea to me, definitely doing good at making our hay situation a little more efficient, actually I don't know, yeah I suppose it'll be fine, never mind, it doesn't really matter which one we have on our wind rower. Slash rake. Yeah, they do call them wind rowers here, but you call them rakes where I'm from. And I've just kind of gotten used to calling them wind rowers. Um, but I'll probably end up switching between the two. Is there anything else I need to do around the farm? Any little chores that maybe need done? Let's just take a look at our food our livestock. They have a ton of liquid manure. I wish I figured out how to sell that. Um, manure, okay, yeah. Mixed ration is good. They should be good because they're 110%. Well, I'm just going to double check our numbers here. And, oh, what is... Is this the, like, percentage of, of the ones that are ready? Like, 51% of them? <clears throat> I don't know, we'll find out. Because I thought this was the number of, the actual number of beef that was ready for slaughter, but that's, we're obviously way above that. So I'm guessing that's percentage, even though it doesn't show percent there. Slaughter weight, yeah. 22% of these guys, 20% of these guys, 24% of those guys. Alright. Um, how are we all getting along? Looks like we're doing just fine. Um, man, I have an itch on my back like crazy. Oh, that's the spot right there. Got it. <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens, especially it's in like a 
it's in a hard place to get. That's for sure. Yeah, let's check on this guy. We're still doing a headland. And we're missing a huge chunk of it. For whatever reason. What the heck is he doing? That's dumb. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go back and do that myself, apparently. Oh, and even up here, this is not good. It must be the offset square with it or something. I don't know. But we're going to stop this guy, and I'm just going to do the rest myself. And I'm going to close out of this. That's just strange. Um, this isn't really the best. Yeah, this is really strange. I don't know. Come on, Course Play, you're better than this. Of course, I don't blame the developers or anything. They've got a lot on their plate. I'll see how I'm slow that down there. Come on, you can make this turn better than this. Or not, I guess you can't. Oh well. That's fine. We'll manage. We'll manage just fine. I wonder if this house is gonna do on our other fields. Hopefully not this bad, otherwise I'm gonna forget about this second mower. spend our money on it. Jeez. Maybe if I did just back and forth rows on it, I forgot about the headland. Uh, I don't know. Even though that's not quite how you want to do it with this kind of mower. Typically, you, all you want to do is circles around the field with this kind of mower. That way you're not trampling over any grass. That is the preferred method. I mean, as you can tell, it's kind of obvious he will be running over grass if he did just back and forth rows. see anything with this camera set up like it is. This needs to be higher. We have to adjust that in Giants Editor. And if somehow, I don't know if I can edit my turning radius, I don't know how to do that. And that could definitely be done somehow. Alright, next small field we're going to do is field 10. Looks like we'll be missing a little bit on this one too. Holy crap. I don't like that. Okay, I'm just gonna do I'm gonna forget about our headland. I don't I don't care. I don't care. I just need this to get done in the best way possible. So it looks like that's what we're doing. Starting around here. No, don't do this. Don't do this to me, son. Come on. Where is he gonna go? What are we 
doing? What the heck are we doing? This is gonna be even worse than what we had. Yeah, that's not good at all. Oh, come on. Am I gonna be doing this by hand too? I'm just gonna follow our outline here. I guess just do this all on my own. Cause this is not pretty at all. This is messed up as heck. And I don't like it. Not one bit. So now I know our other mower would be about this wide out, but. Just for keeping it easy on myself, I'm going to follow this on the middle of that line as best I can. Just because I find it somewhat easier to follow. Somewhat, as I said. But we'll see how this goes for us doing it by hand. Hopefully not too poorly. Yeah, it should be better now. This row halfway decently. One would help so anyways. I mean, it's pretty straightforward stuff. Heck, I could even do this in cab and not worry about missing much. But um, that's what I'm gonna call it for the episode. Um, not the most exciting stuff, I know. But uh, when we pick up, hopefully we'll have some more fun stuff to do. So, in the meantime. I would like to thank you guys for watching, as always, and if you want to see more, make sure to leave, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. If you, yeah, if you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Um, if there's anything you want to say, just leave that in the comments. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. And once again, thanks for watching, and have a great day.